YouTube, this is Saffron DP for all, and I have a comic book review for you. Today I'm reviewing Skull Kickers Volume 1, 1000 Opas, and a Dead Body. That's uh, some f kind of form of money. God damn it. Fucking volumes fucked. Okay, um, this is published by Image Comics. Um, it's written by Jim. Uh, Zub, art by Edwin Huang, and Missy Coates did the covers. I'm not the covers, sorry, the, um, inks, the colors, I guess. I said covers, I meant colors. Um, this is a fantasy action comedy, uh, which is a good, that's a good blend. You don't really see a lot of, um, fantasy comedies, which is pretty, which is particularly why I loved, um, oh shit, what was the name of that movie? Fuck. I went to see it in and I totally forgot the name. Uh, let's go on. What's interesting, it, holy fuck, I can't talk today. What's interesting about this book is, this comic book is the main characters don't have names. They have kind of... They Their total look is kind of... It's detailed, and they don't really look generic. They don't have, like, a generic look to them. They don't. They have, like, a unique kind of style to them. But they don't have names. They're, they're either... There's, a, there's the big guy, who's a human carries a kind of revolver I know a revolver and a fantasy and, and this is kind of like this is like a world where there's orcs there's wizards and shit there's knights and all that there's dwarves like the main, there's other character he's he doesn't have a name he's just dwarf uh, he, they call him he's either the main guy the big guy is either baldy or big guy and there's the, the dwarf he's either dwarf or Midget, which is not the correct term. Um, yeah. And can I just say the title is badass? Skull Kickers. That, and they actually, there's a point where the guy, the dwarf, kicks a skull. Um, that's still attached to someone. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, what's the overall story? Um, there are two mercenaries. Um,. They're vagabonds. They just go from town to town, killing monsters. Blah, blah, blah. And by the way, they they may be the protagonists, but they're not gay guys whatsoever. They're like, they're kind of like anti-heroes. But Your Highness, that was that movie I was thinking about with um with James Franco and Danny McBride. That was a comedy. That was also fantasy, but not a lot of people liked that movie. I liked it because it was, you know, it was fantasy comedy. We don't get a lot of those, Spe especially when it's like in a world kind of like Lord of the Rings. It's like a medieval bit, like there's magic and shit. And I just want to say this: this series is awesome. It was great. You get also. This is not the start of the series. This will. This is the start, but it's like, these characters did first premiere in like, and, and, vol and what the fuck is it called? Anthology comic book, where it's like short stories, um, but, but they uh, included that at the back, at the, at, after you've, you finish the book, it, the bo there's bonus pages where it shows the, the short stories, and the short stories are like, they're not, they're like, four pages long, but they're, they're pretty funny, um, the overall story of this is, they're in a town, uh, uh, where they stumble upon, uh, a high official, like a governor official gets assassinated, they try to catch the thief, Blah blah blah. Thief gets away. Um, 
and they're high, and there's an investigation, right? But the guy who was the second, I don't know, he was the assistant or something, or I don't know, to the governor or whatever, uh, hires them to retrieve their bot, the the official's body, so they can leave. Um, hence the title. And um, they stumble upon grave robbers, or what? It, well, not technically grave robbers, but they guys who are st trying to steal the the bodies. And there's a huge fight. There's this giant monster. There's like this monster, and there's zombies, and there's a giant monster made of a whole bunch of zombies. And there's a necromancer who looks pretty cool. He's a, and he's a recurring. He'll be a recurring. Villain, and the, there's the part where like they smash his teeth in, and he's and even though he his teeth is still is like smashing, he'll he still tries to talk, which is it's fucking hilarious, man. The translation, um, and I just want to say it, it's hilarious. Um, this whole series, it's fucking awesome. Like the banter between. The Baldy and the Dwarf guy is hilarious. And uh, the Dwarf guy, he has this kind of like catchphrase, which is like, uh, where's like, it's, his catchphrase is gets, gets his whores and gold. Like, and I don't know if whores and gold, and that, I'm guessing that that's like the equivalent of awesome or something. <laughs> the way, I, that's the, that's what I get when it, that's what I can figure out. Um, that is the best um, interpretation. And there's also it, and it, another thing. It wasn't the necromancer that killed the governor. There's this whole other thing where uh, I don't want to spoil it, but there's another plot going to be used against this town. So I guess they're gonna save that for next, um, for the next story arc. And there is a volume two coming out, which I plan on getting because this fucking series is awesome. And oh, and I forgot to mention the dwarf guy. He uses like axes as a weapon, which is pretty cool. What, what else can I say? It's 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 not laugh out loud funny, but it's humorous. Cause I, who, I never laughed out loud reading a comic. Well, once read, while reading um, the boys and um, this one scene, Doob and Troll Volume Two, <laughs> which was fucking hilarious. But um, yeah, this is this was humorous and funny, and I was smiling. I was, I was like um, chuckling because I don't really, I don't usually laugh out loud. Even when I watch, I watch comedies all the time, so I'm kind of desensed when it comes to comedy movies so I don't really laugh out loud unless I'm in the theater with friends then I'll laugh out loud um, but yeah it was this was a great book um, oh I should talk about my likes like dislikes likes it's funny good action interesting characters cartoonish it's cartoonish but this isn't bad thing it fits the overall theme of the book Great monster design. Uh, the, there are some interesting monster designs here. Dislikes. Um, this is kind of a problem with me. There's no cool looking main characters. Which kind of like, I kind of need a cool looking main characters. Like, oh that guy's badass and he looks cool. And he probably gets all the chicks. I kind of, eh. But you know what? We, I, for that I got Green Lantern, I got Batman, I got... I got superhero books for that, and I don't need it here. And oh, this is not pretty. It is predictable at times. There are parts where it's kind of I saw them coming from an issue away or two issues away. It it's predictable predictable at times, but that's that's the only problem. Oh fuck! I didn't come up with a rating. Shit! I forgot. If, uh, I'm just gonna give it a high my own point where I, I want to give it effing awesome but it's kind of like it's just a high it's just a must own because I don't know if everybody's going to like this because it, it, it is somewhat dark humor and these characters 
even though I think they're cool, and by the way, the, the dwarf is a drunkard. He drinks a lot, which I can relate to that. To the, well, I don't drink a lot, but whenever I drink, I drink to the point where I I get fucked up. Um, um, it is, these characters are not very, they're likable, but they're kind of like, they do bad shit. <laughs> they, they, like, they were, they need horses, so they were gonna rob some people, but it turns, but they got attacked by orcs, so they can't, they kind of save them, and they kind of, and then they kind of, they just gave it to them, <laughs> but fuck. Uh, but they were gonna rob them anyway, <laughs> so, and, yeah, they're, they kind of are, they're like, Shelf, so uh, what's it called? I don't fucking care. Um, they're kind of like they're um, what's the word? They're like self-centered, I guess. But unless it comes with each other, then they'll they'll they'll, they'll try to rescue uh, the other guy because you know, that that guy would do the same thing for me. We're partners. I gotta go save his ass. Um, yeah, it's a great book. Uh, this kind of makes me want to read. No, more non superhero books because I. It's a point where that, that, that kind of gets old, but it's like shit. No, nah, no, nah, it doesn't. Um, so yeah, my next comic review will probably be. It'll be, it'll be either Nova Volume 2 Nowhere or Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 Legacy. I want to do kind of no. I want to do Nova because that takes place before Guardians of the Galaxy. And. Nova's in here, and it's kind of like right at, right after the whole Fanex conquest thing, which is what we're, which is what I, I'm, I'm still on, on Nova. So, yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna do a review of Nova Volume Two first. Um, so that's all I gotta 